Hello everyone. Welcome to EEEE lecture number 7B. Today we are going to start with network theorems. That is, first is Thevenin's theorem. So in Thevenin's theorem, we have a complex circuit which is consisting of uh, various resistors in series, parallel, uh, voltage sources, current sources. Not an entire complex circuit. Let's say we have output terminals A and B and we have a load register connected to it. All right. So according to Thevenin's theorem, this entire complex circuit get replaced with a single voltage source VTH of value name VTH and with a single series resistance of value RTH. All right. And then you connect back your, uh, you know, VTH and RTH to A and B and then you connect back your load register RL. So this is what the Thevenin's equivalent circuit means. All right. Where VTH is called as Thevenin's voltage and RTH is called as Thevenin's resistance. So these two are important. Now uh, what we do is we will understand the method how to find VTH and RTH. So we will see that briefly in an example in a numerical but uh, right now uh, VTH is it is the voltage obtained across the terminals A and B with a load resistance RL removed. All right. So yeah, in your complex network uh, complex circuit between the terminals A and B you remove load RL and measure the voltage across A and B so that voltage will be called as 7 inch voltage VTH uh, then we will calculate RTH it is a resistance of the network measured between A and B with load RL removed and replacing all the current uh, all the sources by their internal resistance now all the sources means independent voltage source or a current source all right so what we do is uh, we remove rl and uh, we replace all the independent sources with their equivalent resistance now uh, the internal resistance of a voltage source is zero uh, ideal voltage source is zero that's why we replace the voltage source with a short circuit and the internal resistance of a current source is infinite so therefore we replace the uh, current source by an open circuit so that is what we do to find rth uh, we replace all the sources by its the internal resistance so if it is a voltage source we'll short circuit uh, the terminals between the voltage source and uh, the current source will be open circuited so let's see briefly an example of it and then we will able to understand it better all right so let's see numerical number one in numerical number one we need to find the current flowing through 5 ohm resistance so um, whichever register we need to find the current mark that terminals as point a and b so these are terminals a and b and this register r uh, this register 5 ohm resistance will be rl so we need to find the current through 5 ohm resistance by Thevenin's theorem all right so what was the Thevenin's theorem we replaced the complex network so this is my complex network all right between uh, and output terminals are a and b connected uh, rl this complex network will be reduced to a single voltage source called as vth in series with a resistance rth and these are connected between the points a and b once you find vth and rth then you connect back your uh, rl and then you can find the current flowing through rl all right, that is what we need to do. So this is my complex circuit which we were talking about. All right, so this is the concept. Now let's start with the solution. So first, there are two things we need to calculate. First is we need to calculate VTH, that is Thevenin's voltage, and then the Thevenin's resistance. So let us see first point, calculate. Uh, first, we'll calculate RTH because that is much simpler. So to calculate RTH, what is the technique? The first technique is to remove RL. So we need to remove load register RL. And then uh, we need to replace the, now over here we have two independent uh, voltage sources. So we need to replace the voltage sources by a short circuit, by the internal resistance. And internal resistance of a voltage source is uh, zero. So uh, we replace 10 volt voltage source and 20 volt voltage source uh, with a short circuit okay just short circuit them all right now let me redraw the network again over here so we have drawn 6 ohm resistance then we have 1 ohm resistance over here this voltage source of 10 volt will be short circuited so this is what do you mean by short circuited and then we have 
टू ओम रेजिस्टेंस ओवर ईयर फॉलोड बाय थ्री ओम रेजिस्टेंस एंड देन वी हैव अनदर वोल्टेज सोर्स वी शॉर्ट सर्किट दैट टू एंड देन वी कनेक्ट द टर्मिनल्स ए एंड बी वी रिमूव आर एल सो दैट विल दैट मीन्स वी हैव टू कीप इट ओपन सो ओवर ईयर दैट मीन्स वी हैव टू फाइंड द इक्वल एंड रेजिस्टेंस बिटवीन द टर्मिनल्स ए एंड बी सो वी नीड टू फाइंड आर ए बी और आर टी एच थेविडेंस रेजिस्टेंस और राइट सो दिस इज द प्रोसीजर रिमूव आर एल and replace 10 volt and 20 volt uh, voltage source with a short circuit so this is how we have replaced it uh, 10 volt voltage source we have replaced it with a short circuit and 20 volt voltage source also we have replaced it with a short circuit now we'll analyze this network a little further let me save this document first all right so now if you see carefully over here we have 6 ohm resistance in parallel to 1 ohm resistance all right so it will be uh, 6 into 1 divided by 6 into 1 divided by 6 plus 1 so this will come out to be 0.857 ohms okay so let's draw the network again with this modification so we have a resistor of value 0.857 ohms then we have two ohms resistance followed by 3 ohm resistance and then we have terminals a and b all right so now if you see carefully these two resistances 0.857 and 2 ohm resistances are in series all right and uh, so we may draw the network again so we need to find remember we need to find rab or rth All right. So these two are in uh, series. So we'll connect them together over here like this. Two point eight. It becomes now two point eight four eight five seven. And this is in parallel with three ohms resistance. And these are points A and B. Now, if you look into the terminals A and B, you will see that these two resistances are in parallel. So that means uh, R A B. or your thevenin's resistance rth is 2.857 ohms parallel to 3 ohms all right and this if you work it out it will come out to be 1.4633 ohms all right so that's the value of uh, rth or rab all right so this is how we find the equivalent uh, you know thevenin's resistance uh, for the thevenin's theorem okay now next is we will calculate the value of vth all right let us write it down next is calculate thevenin's voltage vth so to calculate thevenin's voltage vth there are two steps first is remove load resistance rl between the terminals a and b and then is measure voltage between terminals a and b that means that is measure vab or vth or it is also called as open circuit voltage so this is also called as open circuit voltage so what we will do is uh, we will go back to the circuit we have to just replaced the load resistance we'll remove it and we'll just keep a and b terminals open so let me redraw the circuit and show it to you okay so what we did is we need to remove rl so i am drawing the circuit over here again so we have 10 volt voltage source 6 ohm resistance 1 ohm then we have 2 ohm resistance over here 3 ohm resistance over here and these are the terminals a and b so this is terminal number a this is terminal number b so here we will measure uh, voltage vab or vth let me write it properly thevenin's voltage vth or open circuit voltage voc all right so this is what we get to uh, this is the circuit to calculate your vab now Uh, okay one changes there there is one more yeah 20 volt voltage source is left out so please draw it again so here i have to draw 20 volt voltage source because that is connected 
yeah here it is all right now it's fine now we need to find vab now in order to find vab always remember start from b and then go up and then come to a so we need to measure the voltage between a and b so now if we apply if we apply kvl and if we go above what you will get here it is going from minus to plus that is rise in potential so what is vab actually so vab will be uh, this 20 volt so when you are going from uh, uh, there is a rise in potential when you go from uh, right to left and then we are going above uh, let's say the current flowing through uh, 3 ohm resistance is uh, value is let's say the current is i i2 let's say okay so current flowing through 3 ohm resistance is i2 so it will be we are going in the opposite direction to the flow of current that's why the current flow will be positive over here the sign will be positive so plus 3 times i2 so VAB eventually will be uh, when we go from B to A which will be plus 20 now we are going uh, against the direction of the current so it will be plus 3 I2 if, if we consider this current as I2 alright so basically a job has become simpler we just need to mark this currents now we can easily solve using mass analysis okay uh, here the current will be I1 and here we have already marked the current as I2 so let us take it as I2 only so direction will be same this is current I2 we just need to find I1 and I2 and uh, we need to substitute that I2 value over here to get the value of VAB. Alright, clear it is? Alright. Why it is called as open circuit voltage? Because uh, termin between the terminals A and B there is an open circuit and we are measuring the voltage in uh, parallel. Alright, so let's start with uh, KVL. We are using mesh analysis. So let's say the first step is KVL to loop 1 or mesh 1. So this is my loop 1 over here. Now if you go over here, this will be again rise in potential. So it will be 10 minus 6 I1 then minus I1 minus I2 because here it is 1 ohm minus I1 minus I2 is equal to 0. We rearrange this. What do we get? Minus 7 I1 plus I2 is equal to minus 10. Let's call this equation number 1. Now we apply KVL to mesh 2. So this is my mesh 2 over here. So KVL to mesh 2 will be here you will get minus uh, 1 times I2 minus I1. So minus I2 minus I1 because we are in loop 2. Then uh, minus uh, 2 I2 minus 2 I2. Then we have uh, minus 3 I3 minus 3 I, uh, I2 sorry it is the same current flowing uh, minus 3 I2 is equal to 0 all right this is the equation we get now we rearrange the terms you will get I1 minus 6 I2 is equal to 0 so this becomes our equation number 1 now we can put it in the matrix form both these equations so let's do that let me put it in the matrix form it will be easier for uh, for us to calculate in a calculator solve this simultaneously okay so this will be i1 and i2 uh, coefficient of i1 is minus uh, 7 coefficient of i2 is 1 and here right hand side we have minus 10 over here it is 1 6 and 0 so solve this two simultaneously and uh, if you work it out in the calculator you will get value of i1 as 60 by 41 amperes and the value of I2 will come out to be 10 by 41 amperes. I am keeping it this way only because we want to multiply with VAB. Now what did we say? What is v, What was VAB? Again I repeat. Start from B and go to towards A. So when you start from B, here if you find there is a rise in potential. So it will be plus 20. And uh, we are going above. So here. Here. Here the current uh, uh, is, is in opposite direction to the flow. So here we get uh, current as positive. So it will be 20 plus 3 I2. Alright. So now we found the value of I2. So let's write the value of VAB again. So VAB will be 20 plus 3 I2. And how much is I2? 10 divided by 41. Now if you work it out, you will get this as VAB as uh, 20.73 volt okay 
सो दिस इज द वैल्यू ऑफ वी ए बी और दिस इज द वैल्यू ऑफ वी टी एच विच वी वॉन्ट टेविडेंस वोल्टेज नाउ डेट वी गॉट द वैल्यू ऑफ वी टी एच एंड आर टी एच नाउ इट्स टाइम टू ड्रॉ द टेविडेंस इक्वेलेंस सर्किट सो द थर्ड स्टेप इज ड्रॉइंग द थेविडियंस इक्विवेलेंट सर्किट सो लेट्स ड्रॉ इट वॉट डज इट से एंटायर कॉम्प्लेक्स नेटवर्क रिप्लेस्ड बाय अ सिंगल वोल्टेज सोर्स वी टी एच विथ इन सीरीज विथ अ रेजिस्टेंस आर टी एच एंड दे आर कनेक्टेड बिटवीन द पॉइंट ए एंड बी एंड बिटवीन ए एंड बी वॉट इज कनेक्टेड लेट्स चेक इट आउट एट द स्टार्ट ऑफ द न्यूमेरिकल बिटवीन ए एंड बी फाइव ओम रेजिस्टेंस इज कनेक्टेड एंड वी नीड टू फाइंड द करेंट थ्रू फाइव ओम रेजिस्टेंस सो लेट्स डू डैट सो दिस इज फाइव ओम रेजिस्टेंस दैट वॉज आर एल सो नाउ इफ यू सी इट्स अ सिंपल ओम्स लॉ If we find the current through I phi, I of phi ohm resistance, it will be simply V T H upon R T H plus R L. Uh, what's the value of V T H we got? We got the value of V T H as 20.73 volt, and the value of R T H was uh, 1.4633 ohms. All right, we substitute the values over here. So I current through five ohm resistance will be 20.73 divided by 1.4633 plus five ohms. All right. If you work it out, you will get uh, current flowing through five ohm resistance will be um, 3.2 amperes, and that is what we want. So we got the current uh, flowing through five ohm resistance by Thevenin's theorem. All right. So this is the technique. We have to compulsorily follow this technique uh, to solve Thevenin's theorem uh, whenever there are independent sources in the circuit. All right. So now we will do next thing is uh, we will verify this in LT spice. All right. So let's uh, do it in LT spice first. Let me minimize the screen so that I can keep the window of LT spice open. All right. So what we do is we'll follow the procedure to calculate RTH. So for RTH, what did we do? Uh, we short circuited, uh, you know, the sources over here. So let's connect them as it is. So here we have one ohm. Here this is three ohm, and then there are two more resistors over here and over here. All right. And then there are points A and B. Let's connect that. So this is one. Okay, so let me connect the next part. Yeah. So I'll do the wiring now. I'm measuring uh, with uh, RTH in LT spice. Yeah. So these are my resistors. This is six ohm. Let us write it. This is six ohm. Right click on R to write its value. This is one ohm. Uh, this will be 2 ohm resistance. This will be 3 ohms. And now we need to find the value of uh, you know RTH between the points A and B. So right click, label net, and call it as A. And this one you can call it as B. Actually, B is not required because we will be connecting it to ground. So this is a ground. So even if you write B, it won't come. so vab is just for the name sake we have written now uh, in order to find equivalent resistance uh, there is no ohm meter or 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 a, or, a, or, a, or a instrument or a device which will measure resistance directly in lt spice so what we will do is we'll connect a voltage source of fixed value of known value and we'll find the current flowing through that voltage source that itself will give you uh, equivalent resistance so let's say the this is my test source and we'll evaluate the current flowing through this test source all right let's say the value of the uh, voltage over here is 10 volt all right and uh, now the current flowing uh, voltage now what we will do is let me add a comment so how will you find rth so rth will be equal to v1 divided by current flowing through v1 understood now remember one more thing that in lt spice current flowing 
out of the voltage source is considered negative that means it's leaving out of the negative terminal it will be considered negative so do not worry if it is comes current is coming negative because it's the lt spice thing so let us simulate go to run go to dc operating point and click on okay so over here you get the value of uh, uh, you know the the current flowing through this test source of 10 volt it's uh, minus do not consider it as minus i have already told you the reason why so i have copied this value now i'll right click over here and add it in the next statement next line so this is the device current so what we will do is we'll multi uh, we'll divide 10 divided by 6.8333 okay so this will be the answer now you can work it out in your calculators so 10 divided by 6.8333 it will come very close to the value that is 3.2 you can check it out please check it in your calculators so 10 divided by uh, the direction of the current do not worry uh, because uh, lt spice considers current flowing out of the voltage source as negative so 10 divided by 6.8333 is coming out to be 1.4 uh, let me add it over here the value in the obtained in the calculator 1.4634 ohms okay uh, let us check what did we get uh, while solving we got it as 1.4633 and by simulation we are getting 1.4634 so that that is quite close so this is how we will measure um uh, the equivalent uh, thevenin's resistance okay so this is how we will measure let me add it over here thevenin's resistance measurement okay that is rth so that is how we will measure thevenin's resistance rth now we will calculate vth so for vth what did we do we remove the uh, you know between points a and b we remove the load and uh, uh, we measured open circuit voltage between a and b directly all right so let's do that over here only so here i'll go scroll down and i'll take the components again this is uh, one ohm this will be three ohm then are, there are two resistors over here and over here here we have voltage source also connected so here i'll connect the voltage source over here and uh, in order to rotate plus control r so this will be 20 volt all right so this is my um, circuit connections i'll join them together these are points terminals a and b i'll keep it open because we want to measure open circuit voltage i'll connect the remaining part of the circuit with a wire also don't forget to add the ground so here i'll add the ground because without the ground you will not get the result all right now let's give the value right click over here its value is 10 volt uh, this value over here is 6 ohms this value over here is 2 ohms this is around 1 volt this is 3 ohms and then this is around 20 volt all right and let's call this terminals as a uh, term label i'll call it as uh, a and b already we have defined above so let's call it a1 and b1 just for the sake of uh, you know keeping the consistency so vth will be voltage uh, between a and b so let's simulate again so v of a1 and v of b1 so as you can see over here v of a1 is uh, 0.7317 uh, and v of b1 is minus 20 so let's copy it and let me add it over here in the comment section uh, v of this node voltage is not required so we remove it now uh, what is the value of vab so let me add it to the next statement vth is equal to vab which is equal to v of a1 in this case uh, minus v of b1 in this case and that is coming out to be 20.7317 volt 
so that's the value of vth uh, which we get let us check it out yeah we got vth as 20.73 and by simulation also we are getting around vth as 20.73 so yeah this is correct the answer is correct now what do we do is we connect the evidence equivalent circuit again with these values so let me add a voltage source one single resistance uh, two resistance in fact rth this is rth and this is your rl let me connect them together all right and i have to add the ground over here so this is my thevenin's equivalent circuit so this is actually vth we'll write the practical value what we got we got it as 20.7317 all right and uh, this is rth rth we got it as around 1.4634 so it will be 1.4634 ohms and this is rl which is 5 ohm resistance all right now the again the current coming out of the voltage source will be coming negative so il may come negative but do not worry current flowing through uh, the the resistance rl will be coming now so let me again simulate and click on run so current flowing through rth we can find out current flowing through i of rth yeah here it is these two currents so these are coming negative because current flowing out of the voltage source is considered negative in lt spy so do not worry these are positive only all right so this is my current all right okay so this is my current flowing through do not ignore the negative sign over here that is because of lt spice considers current flowing out of the voltage source as negative so it's 3.20755 and we got uh, the theoretical value as 3.2 amperes all right so in this way we can easily cross check the answers in lt spice and these are all quite con uh, consistent with the values which we have got uh, all right now let's move on to the back to the handout and let's solve numerical number 2 oh numerical number 2 is home assignment but let's solve it right now so numerical number 2 is we need to obtain the power drawn by 20 ohm resistance using thevenin's theorem so here the values are all given we will cross check it uh, very soon so this is my 20 ohm resistance so let us mark the points as a and b so this is terminal number a and this is terminal b obviously this is grounded all right so here there are 1 2 3 sources three independent sources two voltage sources and one current source all right and this is my uh, you know resistance rl this is my resistance rl load resistance rl so we need to find rth vth current flowing through 20 ohm resistance and then the power drawn by 20 ohm resistance all right so let's uh, start solving it uh, by the way if how do we calculate power through 20 ohm resistance so power through 20 ohm resistance will be we can calculate by i square r you can calculate the current through 20 ohm that is square into uh, 20 ohm resistance into rl basically okay so that is how we will ultimately find the power using this uh, technique now first let's apply thevenin's theorem and first find rth all right so let's start writing the solution okay so the first step is to calculate rth thevenin's resistance so to find rth what is the procedure uh, we need to remove rl so first point is remove load resistor rl and second point is deactivate all sources okay deactivate or replace the all sources with the internal resistance all right so what we will do is we'll replace uh, 12 volt voltage source and um, 8 volt voltage source with a short circuit sc stands for short circuit and we'll replace 4 ampere current source with a open circuit all right so let me draw the circuit over here again so here we have two ohm resistance i am drawing the circuit uh, keeping the main circuit in uh, over here in front of us 
this will be 10 ohms then we'll remove the resistance between A and B here is a short circuit because of a voltage source here is B then this will be open circuit because there was a uh, current source connected then we have 5 ohm resistance this is followed by 15 ohm resistance 25 ohm this will be followed by a short circuit and finally we have another 5 ohm resistance connected together so this is the circuit which we get we have replaced the 12 volt with a short circuit uh, 4 ampere with a open circuit okay and uh, 8 volt voltage source with a again with a short circuit let me save the document and let me maximize it now to solve it further all right now uh, if you see carefully there are two resistances over here uh, that is 10 ohm and 12 ohm which are connected in series so that will become 12 ohm and there are another two resistance over here 25 and 5 and that will become again and they are in uh, series and that is in parallel with 15 ohm so we'll write 15 ohm parallel to 30 ohm and that comes out to be if you work it out that comes out to be 10 ohm will just it will just stay one more step so here we will have 12 ohm let me write it properly this will be 12 ohm resistance then we have points a and b then over here we have 5 ohm and here we have 10 ohm all right now these two resistances will be again in series so basically r a b will be this 12 ohm parallel to 15 ohm okay so let me write it directly over here so r a b or Thevenin's resistance will be 12 ohm parallel to 15 ohm and if you work it out this comes out to be 6.67 actually 6.666 never ending 6 but we'll sort it out to uh, 6.67 ohms so this is my Thevenin's resistance r t h okay so again I repeat what did we do we removed the load RL and we replaced all the voltage source and current source by the internal resistance all right or deactivated them basically so we have replaced 12 volt and 8 volt voltage source with a short circuit and 4 ampere uh, current source with open circuit and we got the value of RTH next we'll find the value of VTH so we need to draw the same circuit again but removing RL okay and we need to find the open circuit voltage between point a and b so let's do that so let me write it over here first of all i'll draw the circuit again so second part will be finding vth so what is the procedure over there the procedure is to remove load resistance rl and second point uh, measure open circuit voltage VAB or VOC or VTH alright so let's draw that circuit again so there was a 2 ohm resistance then we have a voltage source of 12 volt over here 10 ohm resistance over here then there was points A and B we uh, have to remove RL so we have removed it then there was a current source 4 ampere over here connected between the points A and B 5 ohm resistance 15 ohm resistance there was one more voltage source connected over here and finally one more resistance connected over here so this was uh, 15 ohms 5 25 this was 8 volt and this was uh, 5 ohm resistance alright and we need to calculate uh, the open circuit voltage between point A and B alright so let's do that we need to calculate open circuit voltage between the point A and B so for that uh, we need to calculate the current flowing through this loop because we want the current flowing through 2 ohm resistance and 10 ohm resistance so that we can calculate uh, you know VAB now if you consider let's say that now if you see carefully there are three loops over here okay we can easily solve it using uh, mesh analysis so there are three loops this is loop number one let's call this current as i1 this current as i2 and this current as i3 
so we'll find i1 i2 and i3 and i1 is flowing through this uh, 12 volt source 2 ohms resistance and 10 ohm resistance so easily with that we can calculate vab um, now if we if we see that carefully so we'll start with b we'll go always start with b and we'll go up okay till a all right now this will be minus plus so we see rise in potential so your value of vab at the end if you calculate the value of i1 it will be 12 it will be 12 and now the current direction and the direction of the flow is same so this two resistance are in series so that will be minus 12 into i1 so 12 minus 12 i1 will be the value of vab so our aim is to find the value of i1 all right using mesh analysis now if you see carefully this is an example of a super mesh why because your 4 ampere current source is forming a super mesh all right so mesh number 1 because the 4 ampere current source is set between loop number mesh number 1 and mesh number 2 all right this is mesh 1 mesh 2 and this is mesh 3 or loop 1 so mesh 1 and 2 are uh, set with by a common current source so hence it will be a super mesh example so let's do that so we can write over here mess 1 and 2 form a super mess all right we have discussed about super mess before so what will be the, uh, what will be the uh, you know current flowing through this current source will be given by i1 minus i2 is equal to 4 amperes that will call it equation number 1 why i1 minus i2 because I1 and uh, 4 ampere current source uh, direction are same. Next, uh, we will apply the KVL to the super mesh. So let me mark super mesh over here. This is my super mesh, excluding the 4 ampere current source. So I have to apply KV, uh, KVL over here around this loop. So let's do that. KVL to super mesh will be given by uh, here we have 12 then uh, minus 12 uh, 2 and 10 i'll combine so 12 i1 then we have over here resistance as 5 uh, ohm so that will be uh, minus 5 i2 and then here it will be minus 15 i2 minus i3 all right so this is my equation of super mess i hope it is clear uh, we have to apply around this green look color loop okay so 12 minus 12 i1 minus 5 i2 minus 15 i2 minus i3 so let's simplify this further so this will be minus 12 i1 minus 20 i2 plus 15 i3 is equal to minus 12 let's call this equation number 2 so yeah now we can apply the normal kvl to loop number 3 okay it doesn't form any super mess so we can apply kvl to loop number three so let's do that i'm writing here with red color okay so kvl to mess three so what do we get over here minus 15 i3 minus i2 so minus 15 i3 minus i2 minus 25 i3 minus 25 i3 and we are going from positive to negative so it will be minus minus 8 and minus 5 i3 that is equal to 0 so let me simplify this further so this will be 15 i2 minus 45 i3 is equal to 8 so this is our equation number 3 so we have three unknowns i1 i2 and i3 and three equations we can solve them simultaneously let me put it in the matrix form so in a matrix form it will be easier for us to put it the values in the calculator so these are my three i1 i2 and i3 now i'll write co coefficient of i1 first i2 second and i3 next so it will be 1 minus 1 0 4 from equation number 2 it will be minus 12 minus 20 15 minus 12 and from equation number 3 it will be 0 15 minus 45 8 so we need to solve this simultaneously using our calculators and uh, eventually you will get the value of i1 as uh, 208 divided by 81 amperes and we want this value only 
all right so it comes out to be 2.567 amperes then i2 is coming out to be minus 116 by 81 amperes and i3 is coming out to be minus 796 upon 1215 amperes all right so these are the values of i1 i2 and i3 but we have already figured out the value of vab will be 12 minus uh, 12 i1 let me explain that again with an example so let me draw the part of the left hand side of a so this is the left hand side of a and b so we have a resistance of uh, 10 ohm then we have a resistance of 2 ohm then we have a voltage source of value 12 volt and here it is this is a and this is b and the current flowing in this loop was i1 all right and i have marked only the point a and b only so we are starting from b and we are going above all right so what will be vab vab will be this will be minus plus there's rising potential so 12 minus uh, this 2 and this 10 will be combined and why minus because current flow and this flow from b to a are same so it will be min 12 minus 12 i1 so it will be 12 minus 12 into 208 upon 81 and if you work it out that comes out to be vab comes out to be minus 18.804 volt and that is equal to vth all right so this is my um thevenin's voltage okay so however complex the circuit will be we have to remain calm and we have to solve it systematically so here we have solved it using super mass analysis mass analysis and uh, we got the value of vth that is thevenin's voltage and now for the third part uh, we'll draw the thevenin's equivalent circuit thevenin's equivalent circuit and uh, we'll find the value of uh, current flowing through load resistance so let me draw this is vth this will be rth these are terminals a and b and we connect the load resistance between a and b rl value was how much let us go back 20 ohms uh, rab or rth value is 6.67 and vth value was 18.804 so this is vth let me write the values over here this will be minus 18.804 uh, this value was 6.67 ohms and this was 20 ohms now we need to find the value of uh, you know current flowing through 20 ohm resistance so current flowing through 20 ohm resistance will be vth upon rth plus rl so it will be minus 18.804 divided by 6.67 plus 20 so if you work it out current flowing through 20 ohm resistance will be minus 0 0.705 amperes and the current is flowing from top to bottom if you want to write the current in positive manner it will be 0 0.705 but the direction will be opposite okay so this is the answer uh, the current flowing through 20 ohm resistance and this we have solved it by thevenin's theorem I hope uh, you will solve more numericals to be uh, confident enough to solve any numerical uh, using Thevenin's theorem. Oh wait, we need to find one more factor. That factor is power flowing through this 20 ohm resistance. That will be I square 20 ohm into the resistance that is 20 ohm. So that will be 0 0.705 square into 20. So the power absorbed by this resistor will be 9.94 watt oh this is the answer yeah so in this manner we can solve easily any complex circuit consisting of resistors voltage sources and current sources um, using thevenin's theorem and it will be replaced by a single voltage source and a sing series with a single resistance and then we can easily find the current or the power uh, you know drawn by the load resistance rl all right so yeah that is the end of this today's lecture next time uh, we'll solve one more numerical on thevenin's theorem and uh, finally we'll go to the norton's theorem all right so that's it for uh, you know today and thank you for joining have a good day